never enough, too much is never enough, too much is never enough, too much. Hello everyone, I'm Stacy, and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. But before we do, go ahead and subscribe to me, that would be great. <laughs> Alright, so this building right here, I made this a college dorm. I noticed that um, there weren't any like college themed things. So what I did was I went ahead and decided just to build just like a dorm type of thing for my Sims that are fresh out of their teen years like her right here. She just became an adult yesterday but I wanted to still give her like the the teenage feel while still being an adult so I went ahead and put her in this cute little cheerleading outfit and you know just her aging gave me that the idea to build the dorm so that's what I did and I have a few other sims that are in this age group as well so if they're not doing anything, I'll just go ahead and bring them over if they're not busy. But I think they are. Okay, he isn't. <clears throat> and what about, I think my other girl is busy too. But that's fine. We'll just have two of them here. So this right here, this is Michael. And oh, where'd she go? There she is. So that's Michael and this is Renee. And they are two of our college age students. So we're actually going to have Michael give the tour of the boy side and we're going to have Renee give the tour of the girl side because typically with college storms they're separated from the boys and the girls. So with that being said, let us go ahead and get started. So when you first walk through the doors, you'll come into the common area. This is where everyone can meet up. You see, we've got, I don't know what that little dance is that they do. It's really weird. But as you can see, we've got a studying area over here with the computer and the black chalkboard. And it's the same over here, except it, I turned it around. So it's like the sticky. Um, on each side of those are two bathrooms. I know it's kind of weird placement for the bathrooms but that's all I could think of to put right there um, for the time being and <clears throat> it's like that on every single floor but then the other floors have the rooms in them so if we come back out here to the common area you see we've got a couch right here but, you know we can you can just chill and lounge around where, where they can chill and lounge around and we've got two little couches over here and in front of them both are going to be the gaming systems which i thought that was a cool little addition that they added i don't remember where it came from but it was in one of the um activity updates and then you've got the salsa machine right there you've got the beatbox machine and you've got two exercise bikes on either side. And you know, as college students, you don't cook often. Um, but I decided to go ahead and just add, you know, two little fridges here. So more than likely, they're gonna just be eating the leftovers all the time because I don't have stoves, microwaves, all that for them. 
So there's a drink fridge where they can get their drinks or leftovers. And here is the activated fridge. And if we take this elevator over here, that will take us downstairs and to the basement. But, um, well, yeah, downstairs in the basement, there are the first set of dorms. So we're gonna, where's he going? No, I don't need you to go, no, why are you going upstairs? Oh, that's pretty funky. So let's have him go back down the stairs. Well, down the elevator. And I'm actually going to have her on the exercise bike while Michael is busy giving the tour. Okay, so here's the guy side. So if you walk into it, here is a double dorm room. So this is where we're going to have two of our male students go through here. Here's a bathroom with a little um, mini vanity, toilet, shower, nothing too fancy. Same thing on the other side. If you come over, still the double bunk bed, the bathroom with the toilet, the single vanity, the shower, you know, nothing too, too outlandish until, you know, we move up the floors. And I have the system where the higher, the grade level, like say, if they are um, a senior in college, they will be on the fifth floor and they will have their own room. However, there are only two female rooms and two male rooms still. But you know, you could also only have so many Sims in the house at one time as well. So if we go with him up to the second floor, here so the bottom floor I would say is the freshman wing this I would consider the sophomore wing not very different um, from the freshman wing except for um, the colors and the walls and the beds but the beds aren't really you know because I do use these beds multiple times on different floors. Um, here's the bathroom. You know, nothing nothing too different from the freshman wing. You know, it still has a single vanity, the toilet, the shower. If you go out and back around to the second room, it's the exact same thing. You know, when the students get here, they'll be able to customize their room according to how they are. More than likely, Michael here will room with his twin, Joseph. I have a backstory on them that I will get to pretty soon when I have them both together. So if we come out again and we take this elevator, that will lead us to the third floor. Well, the third floor? Yeah. The third floor, this is also um, our sophomore wing. You know, I just decided to add another bed. So the, soft, the second sophomore wing holds three guys and girls in their rooms. Same build as the previous two floors, except the double vanity that they have in here. And of course, you know, same on the other side. Not much of a difference at all, really. My goodness, what's up with my hands today? 
I really like these bunk beds though. I like the dark brown, um, the dark wood that they have with the gray. It's really nice to me. All right, use this elevator and you will go to the fourth floor. I call this my junior wing. Now the junior wing has more beds as well. Um, the junior wing actually holds four to a room. So if you go in here, I mean, it can be anything, but I just made it, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior type of deal. So you see the bunk bed right here, and then I added two single beds. And I did the same in the other room. Bathroom the same as the previous floor, the sophomore floor. Nothing too fancy, nothing too outlandish. So this is our fourth floor for our junior students. And if you take this elevator, you will go to the fifth floor senior wing. Now, it takes a lot to become a senior when you're in college. You have to go through a lot. And after all that, when you finally make it to this floor, you feel like you're on top of the world, literally and figuratively. So if you go into this room here, it is a single bed. Same on the other side. I use the teen beds because, you know, dormitory, dorms. Uh, I could use the other ones, but I just decided just to go ahead and use the teen beds. Their bathrooms are extremely noticeably different than the ones of the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. They have a bathtub and a shower, and it's very fancy as well. Um, their bathrooms, instead of them being the white tile wall and the mosaic black floor, they have black and white tiled walls with white mosaic floors. Um, they have a black and white toilet, well, a white toilet with a black seat. And their vanity is a whole lot bigger as well. This is the spa one. Um, I ended up missing that event, but when you build houses in the architectural home section um, in the home templates, a lot of them that I pre well that I um, built on my lots had a lot of things from the spa event, which I was able to snag once I demolished the houses to build my own, which I thought was pretty awesome that you can go ahead and demolish those and keep the items that are in those houses. But yeah, so that is the guy's side. Now, if we go ahead and bring him downstairs, I'm going to bring him down here and I'm going to just have him, you know, play some video games. And while he's coming down, we're going to have Renee go down to the ground floor or the basement or the first floor, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the ground floor because my first apartment was on the ground floor. So that's kind of what I'm used to saying when I'm referring to floors downstairs now. All right. So we saw the guy side. Let's look at the girl side. You can tell the difference between the guy and the girl side because of the colors. I'm not going to, you know, identify your gender, but, you know. I wanted to, you know, make it obvious that the sides were different. So if we go in this room, I'm not going to go over the bathrooms because all the bathrooms are the same. But I will go in the room and I will show the different beds. Like I said, the students may furnish the rooms how they please once they are moved and settled in. So say if she wanted to 
add a desk down here somewhere she could if she wanted to add a TV or like a little beanbag chair or something she's good she can do that Okay, let's use the elevator to go up. And then click on her so we can just follow her the whole time. So that's our freshman floor. If we get her over here to use this elevator to go up to sophomore wing number one. I might change that and I might make it to where the freshmen share the rooms more than the sophomores and the juniors do. So I might make the freshman wing the four the four person rooms and then make the sophomore rooms the three person rooms. <laughs> make the junior rooms the two person rooms and make um well, I'm going to keep the same room the same. Okay. On this side, I really like this bed right here. This strawberry bunk bed, I, I am in love with it. When I first saw it, I said, holy crap, where did that come from? Because I just thought it was, my favorite color is pink, so... Just pink itself always attracts my attention. But then when you add the black with it, it makes the pink just pop and I absolutely love it. So both of these rooms are the same. As you can see, this room has the half and half pink and purple. And the bottom has the split pink like a peach color with brown in our freshman floor. So that's what we got going on in here. If we leave and go to, ooh, is it this elevator? I think it's this elevator. Not if I go back downstairs. Oh, let me have the right elevator. No, I think that is a downward elevator. No, it's the upward elevator, okay. Woo, freaked me out for a minute. All right, come in here. We've got our beautiful strawberry bed and our pink bed for our junior floor. Bathroom still the same. Like I said, nothing changed. Same over here. The three-person bedroom. And now we're going to have her go up to our... No, that's a sophomore floor. Sorry. We're going to have her go up to the junior floor. That's the one with the four bedrooms. Well, the, the four bedrooms. Oh, my God. The four-person bedrooms. So, there are two pink beds right there. Our artsy bunk bed. Same over here. Nothing different. And you can... You know, look out the window and see the street, which I find pretty cool. I like how I place those windows. <laughs> clap, clap, clap to me. And let's have her take the elevator. There she goes with a little dance again. What the heck? So we're going to have to take the elevator up to the senior floor where everyone strives to be, which is where she will be sooner rather than later go in here and she's got the canopy pink teen bed up here like I said the bathroom is way fancier than the ones that are below it girl same <laughs> All right, same thing over in the next room, nothing different here. And that is the dorms. Um, real quick, as you can see, if you look at the walls, how they are different than the previous ones. As you can see, the freshman and the junior walls are the same. 
the sophomores have their same colored walls. And then the senior wall is completely different. They just have seniority. There it is. They've, uh, the girls have the pink striped walls. The guys have the blue striped walls. My guys over here, they have like the light blue that goes into like a darker, like sea green. And then they've got the dark blue with the brown. And then we're back to our bottom floor. Let's have our girl come down here. Maybe she can join him. Oh, she can! How dope is that? So let's wait for her to come downstairs. Let's actually have her take us downstairs. So, let's look at Renee, strut her stuff. Renee has a big sister as well. Um, her sister has, you know, has gone off and married and had kids. And now she is in school, you know, going to pursue her career until one day she finds the one and marries. Like I said before, Michael has a twin brother named Joseph. And he will be attending college as well. Oh, excuse me. And they will be rooming with each other. But that's all um, for in here. I'm going to take you just outside just to look at a few things. Um, I've got strobe lights running because how cool is that? Or whatever kind of... Are those party lights? Party lights. Yeah, I have those running because those are just cool. I've got a telescope out here, you know, just to look out at the stars in the sky. I've got a camera here for when they want to, you know, record some, some partying going on. I've got soccer over there. I've got... Uh, fire hydrogen over here and this is you know for a career path same thing with the soccer because you know being an athlete is a job on here and there's our weather machine which is what I use to make it day because it is just about 10 p.m. right now when I'm filming this oh shoot okay so if I go ahead and resume day night cycle, as you can see, it gets dark. But I'm going to quick turn it on again so I can finish showing you the art. In the front, I added the planters. Um, this was from the backyard beautification event, if you hadn't done it. So you've got those. Over the... Let me real quick at that. I don't really get a good look. Okay. I think I did pretty good with this stuff. Man, I'm good. <laughs> and then you've got this over here. This is, you know, more of the decoration decor than the plant on this side. But I think the planters are the coolest thing ever. And I applaud EA for you know what well, and the developers of the sims 3 play in getting that um right here i've got some led lights that are changing colors and these are the glass outdoor lamps i'm gonna go ahead and turn those on because i'm gonna turn it back into night again so I resume day night cycle you see it's night and those are on. So, I really hope you enjoyed this tour of my dormitory. 
if you could so kindly like comment and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it like just because you know my video is awesome comment give me some feedback tell me what you want to see uh, if you have any questions about how I did certain things um, or if you just want to say hi comment subscribe because I'm bomb why wouldn't you subscribe but that is all that I have today I'll see you guys in my next one bye